Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Amani Jelena, and I'm here with another video for you guys. So this video, as you can see from the title, this is going to be a super quick video because I still do get questions of individuals asking me, how do I test these bundles? When I'm ordering all of these bundles from all these different vendors, how do I properly test it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my infamous Allure 96 bundles. And if you guys are interested in purchasing you some Allure 96 bundles, you can head over to Allure96.com. And I think I want to be super generous. I'm going to give you guys 20% off of your entire order for the next week. Check the description box. I'll leave everything listed below. In case you guys want to sample anything on Allure 96, I will leave a 20% discount on there for you guys. Just make sure you use the discount code that I do leave below. This will only be going on for maybe about a week or so. Check the description box. Like I said, 20% off your entire order, no matter what your order is, okay? So you can sample out the lashes. You'll be able to sample out the sample kit, things like that, all that good stuff. 20% off description box, or I'll leave it tagged, tagged within this video. But back to the video. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I would sample hair or not sample, but test out the hair when I do receive hair from different vendors, when I am on the vendor search and all that good stuff. So whenever I am on the vendor search, the first thing I do when I get to hair is I instantly just start running my, finger, my fingers through the hair. I wanna see exactly how this hair is gonna hold up. I wanna see, am I gonna get a lot of shedding? I wanna see if anything's gonna fall out the hair. Maybe a bug might fall out, maybe. Um, there'll be nets in the hair, things like that. So you always want to run your fingers through the hair. And this is a super fresh bundle that I literally just took out of the PVC wrapping along with the fishnet that comes over my particular bundles. So this is what it looks like. So running my fingers through the hair, I'm getting zero shedding, which is super awesome. And then after that, I instantly examine the wefts. So I'm, inst I'm gonna look at the wefts to make sure there's no errors with the construction of the weft. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys, so you guys can see as well. But basically, I do this to make sure the weft is not damaged in any sort of way. If the weft was damaged, that would definitely call excess, cause excessive shedding throughout the entire bundle, which your customer might not be that happy if they're getting tons of shedding. So that is something that you want to look at. And then once I look at that to make sure there, the weft isn't disturbed in any sort of way, I'm instantly going to look at the beards on the bundle. And for you guys that don't know what the beards of the bundle is, the beards is basically the short sparse hair or sparse hairs that um, poke out at the top of the hair. And that's basically, I want, I want you guys to, to understand this. When the vendors or the manufacturers are lying the hair over the weft, they have to kind of tuck the hair over the weft so that it can get sewn to the actual weft itself. So I'm gonna try to show you guys, so bear with me. So it'll be like tiny hairs on the side of the weft. So with my particular bundles, I don't have, that's something that I really stressed to my actual manufacturer. I did not want long beards because for instance, if you have a sew-in in and you have long beards, sometimes those beards will turn into like little flyaways and they'll be poking, poking, poking out and it just won't look cute. So that's something that I always look for. So with my particular bundles, you do not have that issue along um, with you don't have bad construction of the weft. The weft is very good. It's very well constructed. And it's also double, double sewn. So they go over it once and then they go over it again to make sure that you do not get shedding. Aside from that, I'm then looking at the luster of the hair and I'm gonna look at the luster of the hair to make sure it's not overly shiny, nor is it overly dull. If the hair is overly shiny, that probably indicates that there's a lot of synthetic fibers in there. And if the hair is really dull, that's not a great thing as well. So you want your hair to have like a natural sheen to it. And as you can see, this particular hair does have a super natural sheen to it. It's not overly, or it's not dull, nor is it overly shiny as well. 
Now, the next thing that I'm gonna look for, I'm going to actually really examine the hair to make sure I don't see any synthetic fibers. A lot of vendors tend to put synthetic fibers in their hair just for, as for like a filler purpose, but over time, those synthetic fibers will definitely start to mat your hair, make your hair look very low grade, which it would be low grade because if they put synthetic fibers in it, it's not 100% human hair or Remy hair or virgin hair, whatever your particular vendor's calling it, um, it's not good. So, and, and you can tell if there is filler in it because a lot of the times filler is more of an orangey red tone. Or if they put like yarn base in it, you'll be able to tell because you can see the yarn. Yarn is a lot thicker than an actual strand of hair. So you'll be able to see the, the yarn uh, separated from the hair or the thickness of the yarn as you look at the hair. So after I look at that, the next thing that I look at, of course, is the ends of the hair. I want to make sure the ends of the hair are super thick from root to end. So I'm going to stretch out the hair to make sure that the ends are super thick as well. And then after that, I'm thoroughly going to just separate the hair to just make sure I don't see any bugs or gnats or larva eggs or anything that's not supposed to be in the hair. And I just um, go through and run my fingers through and then I basically just kind of like press the hair open to see if I'm going to see something that's not supposed to be there. And then after this, this is when I would do my straightening test and I'll just get my flat iron and just go through the hair to make sure the hair does get at least bone straight. And then after that, that's when I would do my wash test. And the wash test just con consists of a very cheap shampoo and conditioner usually I use vo5 which if you guys don't know what vo5 shampoo and conditioner is you can find it at the dollar store typically um and then I just go through wash the hair uh condition the hair I get the hair very kind of like tangly tangled up and just see is it easy to like detangle and then I also double checked um on the shedding to see if I'm getting excessive shedding and things like that so those are some of the things that I do to test the hair now the the thing that'll really help is if you actually wear the hair. If you wear your hair, you'll be able to decipher how long or the longevity or the lifespan of the hair is, and that's how you can really determine if the hair is good quality or not. This initial test or wash test or flat iron test or whatever you want to call it is just the beginning test, but you ultimately have to actually wear the hair in order to see exactly how it's going to act once you're sleeping in it. Uh, see how it acts if you does, don't wear a bonnet. See if how it acts if you, you don't have like a satin pillowcase on. Things like that. You kind of like really want to disrupt the habitat of the hair to see exactly how it'll be when your customers buy it. Because I'm going to be honest, when people buy hair, a lot of people tend to buy hair to not take care of it. And a lot of people don't properly take care of their hair. So that's kind of what you have to expect. So you at least have to bring a pretty bomb product to your clients in case they don't know exactly how to treat the hair. The hair would still last them in a sense. Um, so something that I strongly do recommend is make sure you have some instructions on your website or also on, you know, your packaging or, you know, you have like a pamphlet in your packaging just to teach your customers exactly how they should and shouldn't treat their hair just so you don't get any complaints and things like that. Because I'm going to be honest, a lot of the complaints that hair companies typically do get is not because of the hair company. It's because their clients don't necessarily know the proper treatment that they should give the particular extensions. So just that's a little tip for you guys in case those of you, you know, some of you are, are out there and have existing hair companies that aren't really having that great of a, you know, time as far as the complaint department or uh, getting bad reviews and things like that. Just put those instructions out there because it'll definitely help. But I hope this video was definitely beneficial to you guys. If you guys are interested in ordering anything from Allure 96, like I said, there'll be a 20% discount code at the bottom in the description box, also across the screen in case you guys do want to test out the hair because who knows, you may want me to be a vendor, you know, your vendor for you guys or you guys may want to order wholesale or join my dropship program or pre-ship program and things like that. So like I said, 20% will be off of your... Um, on all orders for the next week or so get the just get the discount code it'll be at the bottom of the screen i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye